Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that, even if you was innocent. A lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. But did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say Fucking so. Drive. This other time... <laughs>
officer? Hello? Anybody? Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do.
Message 1. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.
man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Any of those guys, neighbors too? No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Dumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. 
What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? They'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. 
We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now, thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind.
Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. No! Oh, I'll get my gun! I'm okay, Bob. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost... It almost got me, man. It... Lee tried to save me. I know, son. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out and never come back.
You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen! We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten! Shut up! We gotta throw him out! Or smash his head in! Kenny! Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we do what you say. We toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally! Someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing them out now. No! You don't 
touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! Wow. I gotta get in! Shut up! Is that the military? God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Up. Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Oko? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. The pills are in there. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. 
We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. anything? It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No, I'm not sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. There's nothing I need in here. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Mm. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I would 
wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. home and I'm not there. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. That's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. First aid kit. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. You're a pretty good shot. 
Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. You can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Even if I had a weapon. They really want to get into that room. some attention. Be careful. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Get 
Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. he's in trouble no. miss we're coming in you might want to break through that board first Come 
coming out. You're hurt. Oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. 
Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? Back to the motorhead. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? It would have been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. Whoa, man. She was a person. She's gone now anyway. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Here. I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure, uh, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I can tell them how to care about it. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. How to distract those things carefully. Think 
you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. <clears throat> Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there.
Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Everything we own would be lost. 
lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, you know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like I have much to begin with. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. Who would like? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Oh, it's not like we have much to begin with. Oh, hey, check this out. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Oh, man. Did you check the glove box? You know, I swear to God, I thought it was you never pay attention to the way you leave things. Super dinosaurs toast! You know what? Yeah. You what? And you just look over there. How Everything you doing, Doug? I would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It was so it's not like we have much Doug. to begin with. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb, but... I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. I'm sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, these are going to be important, and you will so lift them, so I'll put them right in this front. And then you have to go... Oh, man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like, pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Can, can you just look over there? I'm sorry, there's a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just you keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Can, can you Let me go deal with this. Everything oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, 
You watch your ass. You just look over there. Everything we own would be lost if I left you Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Martha. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Get chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh god. Oh god. Stop, stop, stop! Lee, do something! Please! Please! We can't just leave him like this! Oh, no, no, no! Stop! Oh Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon! Why'd he cut the chain? Oh god. I'm gonna have to cut you out. Let's go! No, let's no, go. no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! It has to be now! Please cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go! Now! Oh god! Shit. Is he? He passed out. Alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. No! The gate's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, the hell Who's are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Lee, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your mouth. I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. 
Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, uh, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the Walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. What are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Hey, Duck. <clears throat> ah! <sighs> What's up, Lee? Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. Actually, why don't you keep my share today? I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me and not Carly, but... I owe you a lot more than half a day's rations. Hey! If Doughboy doesn't want his food, hand it this way! It doesn't work like that. I'll decide who gets the food. I'll decide smart. You don't really want to piss me off, do you? Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. 
Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Hey, Ben. I hope you understand why I didn't give you any food. I'm new. I get it. It's fine, Lee, really. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Hey, Doc. Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kaja can save him. 
Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Thanks. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Doc, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. If they're friendly, we don't want to hurt them. They're not part of your group, are they? No. Mr. Parker, Travis, and I were the last... Last ones. 
There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group, all of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pumping this shit. And it's... Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Fuck you! Fuck you you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself! What we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, shit! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. 
Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Ever have any accidents? Ah, uh, it's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Kenny's working on getting us somewhere safer. He doesn't think the motor inn will stay safe forever. Sounds like a smart man. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was... How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Oh, uh, 
Just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Hmm. Pointy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. He used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks. Uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. 
These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. Alright, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Ah! I told you what would happen, you son of a What the hell? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Now there you are, boy. Give us the food! I don't think I can't see ya! Quick! He'll see you! What about our arrangement? We had an agreement! Now you see him! The blades are stuck in the dirt! Did you really think you'd Damn. fuck with us? Get closer! and back to the house. Ah! They're on the move! Shit, that hurts. Here he got one of you! Didn't deliver the good! Now what we're happened? gonna take Shit. one too! It's one of the dead we pushed down Give earlier. Give us the food! Gotta have to move it.
goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh uh, my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Yeah. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close.
Here. Oh shit, you found it? See anybody? Looks empty. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. Nothing. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Just water. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. 
Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're... Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. You heard her? She was too far gone! She was a fucking freak show, but you didn't have to kill her. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn! <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back! What happened? Lee took care of it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Well, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. They gotta go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? 
Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. D don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them.
What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. There's a baby in there? Careful, don't spook her. Hey, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh, never mind. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. do this. False alarm. I'm back. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Thank you. 
Just gonna borrow this for a second. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt! Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck! God, oh, this take forever. Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Penny, come along, honey. Penny, come on. Don't make the children wait. 
I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, Brenda, Biscuit? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. Excuse me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, and I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. So much morphine for candles. Smart. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Is that blood? Mark, but Brenda said he was up here resting. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Was Mark, but Brenda said he was up here resting.
happened? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. something? Ah, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat! You're out of your skull! Mark is upstairs right now with no legs! Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living! Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Let go of her, you son of a bitch! of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Dad, please! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! Ah, damn it! Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off hmm. and make you swallow them! I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, Come on! Dad! Oh god, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! 
Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kitty. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kitty, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna what? turn! You're putting all of us at risk, you Breathe. son of a bitch! Four. You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know... Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Getting out of here. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Not coming off that way. It's not coming off that way. Still lively. He was still alive. You've got to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry. Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your...
permission. Do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Um, any idea which pocket he keeps us changing? Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. people. Plan as any. Outside the barn. Oh shit. Just going in the place like you said. I mean, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. What's he doing out there? Mama says we I can't keep that know. many folks alive and not expect trouble. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to know what I say. See what he's doing now. 
Not the kid. Not enough meat on the tray. What's he doing now? Oh, I know, Mabel. This is my favorite part, too. When He's I let them think they can just walk right out. See where he is at. <laughs> they never even look down. What's he doing? Sick fucker thinks this is a game. See where he is at. Lee, talk to me. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is at. now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. I know you can. I see... Go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Attention. We heard screams from the barn. What's going on? These people are fucking crazy. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. No. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on, this way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. It's me.
Don't come in here. You just had to go snooping around, didn't ya? Let her go, Brenda. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, let's do it. I'll do it! Please! Don't make this any work. Just stop. What you done? You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Get back 
here and fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! They're getting in! Let's go. Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Well, we gotta stick together. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. Man, that is sick. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She didn't see or... I stopped her. This fucking world now. Tied in just unspeakable shit at every turn. Ugh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out. See if I can get it working. Ah. How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. On, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you gotta see this! a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? 
What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? <sighs> okay. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? Hey, Lee? You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Sweetheart, we won't let them bandits get you where we are. doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I oh, find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing.
Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. There's no safe way through that mess. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry, you made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, 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 shit! You said you could handle it. God, you ever been shot before? I'm sorry. For Christ. You think you. Go! 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 Help me! Somebody help me! Oh, God! Oh, God! What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus. I don't think so. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. <laughs> Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Man, you're not hitting any 
Wilson! Coming. Come on, Lee! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Ghoul it, Doug. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? 
Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth, and it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know?! I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies! That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Doug. Hiya. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever is out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. What do you think about Lily? Dark. I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose their parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. I'll catch you later, Doug.
Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? You feel useful to the group? What? Useful? Yeah, how's your spirits? I'm fine. I'm helping, right? For sure, Ben. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. I'd really appreciate it. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. it is I don't think it's anything maybe it's a sign it could be it's pink chalk which is weird okay back to investigating
Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Now that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your out asses out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! We're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your lives! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? 
About twice as much as you've been giving us. Got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, Ron! Christ! Oh, shit! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Calm down. We need to figure out why this happened. Nobody died. We're okay, right? Katya, you're okay? We just lost everything. But we have our health. Pat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Ben, I think we need to talk. Whoa, what? Lily, let's think about this logically, no? Logically? The new guy who could have easily been a plant? I think that's pretty logical, Doug. You think I'd do anything to hurt you guys? Don't play dumb. Were you hoping they'd eventually kill us all and you could join them? Why Ben? What makes you think it was him? He's always so eager to see what supplies we found. He came into this crew as stranger from the woods. It's pretty cut and dry to me. I came into this crew as a stranger. So you're saying you did it? Nobody did anything! I know I don't get wrapped up in the politics around here, but we really need to think before we start stringing somebody up. Doug, I appreciate your concern, but we have all the evidence we need. Guys, we have to act now. I know it sounds nuts, but we have a traitor here. Do you guys get that? Someone who puts their insidious shit above everyone else. Thank you, Lee. Just let me out of the car. I'll go. I didn't do it, but I'll go. Good. That sounds great. Lily, look at him. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, I didn't! Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, 
Well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Penny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick Fucking you out. Thing we should in hear half. what everybody I think, think you should chill out. Please, look, it wasn't me. Please stop accusing me. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Evidence or not, this isn't any way to treat one of us. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Penny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until Kenny kills that walker to tell me it was you. No! Ben! Lily! This is about trust, ah, and I've you never trusted shit. you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. I can't handle this. There. I got him. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Drop it. Holy fuck. Benny, what's happening? You duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. I didn't mean to. It wasn't supposed to be him. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. What are you talking about? He didn't tell you. He killed someone before all of this. He was a convicted murderer. Is that true, Lee? Yes. Fucking hell. Were you ever gonna get around to telling me that? You got a little girl with you. The hell with it. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. I don't have anything left. Lee, a word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck? Happened during the raid. What's the plan? Never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. 
Not that you've ever afforded us that type of luxury. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Doug? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. Too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day, and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. What? Why? In case you were up to no good. Before you, there was this other guy. He was yelling and trying to get into my house. He wanted to take the TV, and tried to break the glass door with a rock. Then some walkers came and scared him away. The door was open. He was dumb. Got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we got to deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? That not cross my mind. So, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Take this to Kanja, for Doc.
got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay. Fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Hey, Ken. What's up? I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. And we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys, we can figure it out. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys, we can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Bam. Pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. This door's gonna hurt. I can't get at it. Okay, you are gonna like this.
perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Ken. What's up? I'll get back to it. Me too. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? I didn't take anything. I asked if you touched it. I did. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Brain folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. What's your game, man? Keeping alive. That's not bad. I like it. You met Kenny? Sure did. 
man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Brain's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Looks sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. Is the train really a good idea with Duck like that? Maybe we should focus on one thing at a time. Yes. What can we do here? Get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's a survivor. Has been from day one. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. <coughs> Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. Ought to get this train stopped right quick. You 
need to stop the train. Get your hands off me! No! You're gonna listen to me. Your wife and kid need you. I'm gonna make sure you stop this train. The hell you will! We're getting to the coast, and Duck will pull through. Stop the goddamn train and come deal with this! Make me. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. And talk? What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? You acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You wanna hurt people because you're afraid! Losing Duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you. Very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But no. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. He can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here, or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest, so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. What's happening? 
happening. I'm gonna take care of Doc. I thought he was going to die. I'm putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. Oh, it'll be fine. Why, cat? Honey. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you... She couldn't... She, 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 she just... F oh, 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 fuck! What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Hey. How you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son? I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Oh, she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? I figure it out. Well, get to figuring, because it'll be on top of us before you know it. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. 
You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. You got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and... Well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. See ya. Yeah. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. Hey, aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Squeeze the trigger. Steadily, okay? Don't give it a quick yank or pull. Steady. I can do that. Every time. It'll be tough, but just remember to do that. You'll hit what you're aiming at. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. 
Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Bit to the right. Aim lower. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. A little bit more to the left. A little bit lower. Aim more to the right. Aim lower. Steady now. Almost got it. Aim a little higher. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Yeah, you did. Good job. I squeezed the trigger, just like you said. I know. You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. Doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab.
It's a fifth of whiskey. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I would look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend, that he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No, just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh, hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M... M... something... Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... 
sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. Thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo! You keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there... They're cool. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. That's about the only useful thing in here. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. It's empty. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. 
The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> mm, won't burn. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened hmm. it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. I'm locked up good. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. Locked up good. They didn't have much business back then. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you!
It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! Fuck, it's still locked! go so good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Mind your own business. If we wanted you to help out, we would have asked. If you two were to die in here, three dead turns to five, and that's my business. Good thing it didn't happen then. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. There's a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope there's holes. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no. But I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Pull 
Did he go? Shit! What the hell do we do now? What the god this works? Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. to say. I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents. Y'all might want to rethink your plan.
Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. There'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. God damn it! Run! Follow me! Too close, don't you think? Dead. No, man, help her! <laughs> God damn it! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go. Now! I'll be fine. Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it! We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Just get us inside. I don't care how you do it. Maybe you should come up with some ideas then. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's 
It's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. You think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate, and we'll see about getting us inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Try not to worry. It always looks worse than it really is. Except when it's a bite. Yeah, well, it's not a bite. We're gonna get you fixed up. Just get us inside the house, will you? I'm on it. Lee? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like something was buried here. A shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to- Just do what I say, okay? Oh, God, the smell. Ugh, I can't get it off. Ugh. 
Uh, okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem! God damn it, get back here! Clementine! Ta da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't see the point in worrying anyone. Not until I figured out who it was. I don't like people keeping secrets. I especially don't like it when they think it's for my own good. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What if they're the same guy? That doesn't make any damn sense. If it was the same guy, why would he warn us? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed! I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I'm with Kenny on that. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All empty. All empty. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside.
must have stopped working a while ago. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kinney's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm alright. I feel you. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Not exactly my style. Nothing hiding in here. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents, and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He- Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? 
Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been clean time if I hadn't found it when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. From us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? What, Lee? What the hell were you shouting at? Kenny? I'm fine. I just. I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? 
He knows what he saw. He just doesn't want to tell us. Lee, what the hell happened out here? All right, that's it. We've been cooped up here less than an hour, and we're already going stir-crazy. It's time to get back on track. We'll get ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only going to get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it. it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you've pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy.
This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? I've got a better fucking idea. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Better not. Gunfire would just bring more walkers. markings. They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Hello, beautiful. Empty. Too easy. Someone already looted the place. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned. Every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. No sign of any boots down there. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Get down! Get down! Hiding. Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. 
Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. 
raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Right. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! Come on, make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Hey, come on! Come on, man, one good jump! Get your ass out of there! Ah, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open! Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Drainage pipe. 
Good thing I'm out here, and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. Shit. Save the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Can't reach it. Ah! What the hell? old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. 
He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. I just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, you don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? If you've got sick people here, maybe I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? I don't know. All kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. Vern, we need medicine. Joyce is in a lot of pain. I can't bear to see her like this. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe so. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. 
He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. What medical supplies? Uh, sorry, Doc. Had to get you on board somehow. Well, you just get better and better, don't you? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Clem, you in here? Where is she? Clementine, you here? Clem? Hello? What are you doing? You know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Clem? Clementine? Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us, Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Clementine, where are you? Doesn't look like she's in here. Doesn't look like she's in here. Clementine! Not under here. Clementine? 
Clementine! Right? Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. 
I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. No, don't worry. We have a good plan and good people. We'll be in and out before they even know we're there. You trust me, don't you? Yeah. That's my girl. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clementina. I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omi. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? What do you mean? He's sick. If he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet, and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. 
The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone in Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking?
here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I've already been fired. They're worthless. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Yes, I'm not going that way. This is the place I'm looking for. Am. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option.
Auto shop must be down this way. Get too close. Leave him. He's mine. Where the hell have you been? Down. What's wrong with you? What's the matter? Never seen someone kill a geek before? Not like that. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Can't reach it up there. No power. It's locked. No way in. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Got your promise now. Not a scratch. I did it. 
Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Shoot it out! Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. What are you, chicken? Jump! I don't know, man. Come on! Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery! Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Bolly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. You get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? No offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is about Vernon, I did what I had to do to get him to help us. I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So, if there's nothing else... You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. You haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? 
Just like the way they were before? Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. No power, no TV. wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though.
Phones probably haven't worked in months. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Hey, don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for my people. They need this medicine as badly as your friend does. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. 
But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. No. No. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go.
What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the Ag Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. <laughs> Shit! It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. 
He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right! Vernon, come on! So much for the armory. What's left of it? Few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Come on, let's go! Okay? Oh, me!
them stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Mm -hmm. uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Some son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Thanks a lot. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. Man, I hope so. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, Ab, about what happened to Bree. Please. Save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you, the kind of leader you are, they're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks. For everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. I thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? 
Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? 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 Clementine! You out here? Lee! Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. And who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clementine's my responsibility. Can't ask any of you to risk your lives over this. This is something I have to do alone. Lee, man, are you sure that's how you want to do this? I'm sure. This is on me, no one else. Thanks for understanding. It's better this way. We'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure we can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. 
Good luck, Lee. I mean that. Yeah, man. Good luck. You too. Where the hell are they? Burn it! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Those things let up for a fucking minute.
Just some surgical supplies. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. we go. Thousands of them. I need to figure out a way to get down it somehow across town. Maybe head back towards the mansion and 
Go after her from there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. It's an extension ladder. Hospital must have run out of doctors. That's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. No way. It's higher than this roof, for starters. It's not the time to fall on your fucking face again. are all headed this way. Gotta get out of this tower. I think you have to jump. God damn. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. What the 
fu they fucked us. What? Who? It was Vernon. They were waiting for us and jumped us. They were armed and just fuck. Did they have Clementine? No, definitely not. She's not with you. She's with someone else. Her parents were in Savannah, and I think someone used that against her. Well, we're going after her, right? Yeah, of course. What the fuck is that on your wrist? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. A small, stupid thing. But yeah. Oh my god. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! We're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? I'm fine. What's done is done. We have to focus on finding Clementine. Oh, God. Everything just... <sighs> Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny, move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omi, what is it? Front doors! <laughs> <laughs> their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! <sighs> Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Where do we 
go! There's no goddamn opening! Oh. Uh. Go! That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... Hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. Stop it! We can't panic! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. Thought about cutting it off. But I didn't. You could have cut it off? I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. Oh, I'm really glad I got you looking out for me, for Clem. This is just fucking great. Relax, Lee. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I've been bitten by a walker. You thought we'd turn on you. 
Sure. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want Kenny to look after him. Stop it. Do you hear me? You sure, man? You didn't see him in this family. What'd he do to protect him? We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bite. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway... I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. After everything, he's still a bastard, you know, kid? Been hearing that my whole life, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... I've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. There's no use dwelling on it. You know that. No, Lee. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. 
Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not. But I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, Cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. A maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> Sorry. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee is right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck! We can't reach! Find something! Fast! Past would be good! Keep a fucking eye on her. Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Up here, baby. Let's go. Jump. <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. Ken, what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken. Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. Uh, got gotcha, you, hun. Save her. Oh, go, go. Do you fucking hear me? Get 
it, Kenny! Jump up here, Ken! I'll grab you! Get the fuck off me! No! Go! Where... where'd he go? He's dead. Maybe he's not. He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get to an hour moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Clementine. I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? When it comes to Clementine. Well... You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus! We'll, we'll be there!
I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For Do the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. That's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Just 
Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah, I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> smell good. Yeah, I know. Let's get out of here, okay? Yes, please. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Which way out? Through there. Savannah. 
Sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around, and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. As fast as we can. Oh, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> See? Lemon tie, honey. What? What happened? No, 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 that's... that's not... No! No, no, no! Yes, Clem, it is. 
I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. <clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. I don't even want to chew me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee! The door is right here! Ugh, I can't. You have to! Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You have to keep away from me. But Lee... Whatever you have to do to keep me away from you, you have to. Okay. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. And don't be scared of the walker. He'll be fine. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Clem, open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Oh. <laughs> 
You're doing really good. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Watch out! You're strong, Clem. You... you can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... it's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... you... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. And Clem. And always keep moving. You're gonna to wanna to find some place like the motor in, but that's just not safe. Why not? Those places are just targets. Move as much as you can. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. Alright. I'll miss you. Me too.